Okay. Um, someone had asked me on one of my videos if I would show collage, and I thought I had before, but um, I'm going to do it again. This is a piece that I was demonstrating on in one of my recent uh, oil and cold wax workshops, and it already does have some collage in it. Here's a piece of collage here, and there's collage here, and this is uh, this design that you're seeing on this was uh, done with uh, texture in a squeeze oh, uh, gesso in a squeeze bottle. I just squeezed it out and made a design and let it dry. So that's what we're going to start with, and what I, I want to do. And I don't I don't have a clue how many layers are on here. It is on canvas. It is not on uh, cradle panel or paper. So I am going to put a coat of white all over the entire thing. See what I get. And since it is so textured, you can kind of see what's happening. You can see now this is collage right here. You can see that. Now, to put down um, a piece of paper or a collage element into your painting, first of all, you want to make sure that it's good and wet and has a thick layer of something on it. So we know there's a thick, thick layer of white on this. And I, am, I want to collage into this this piece right here. And this was, it's just going to fit actually, this was actually, a, um, one time I ordered a burger and my burger was wrapped in this kind of paper and I loved it so much I asked the server if she could get me an extra piece. So that's what she did. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to place cold wax on the bottom of it. It's, the cold wax actually acts as a glue. Put some more on. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just laying it down and I'm putting the cold wax on it. My finger. I want it really covered good. And, and of course we know that uh, this is wet, so I'm just going to marry the two. And lay it down. Right to the edge. And you want to make sure that it doesn't have any wrinkles in it. There. I'm going to wipe some of that white paint off of it for now. And then I also wanted to show you, normally what I do is when I put something down, I will wait uh, at least two days for it to dry because if I go to roll this it's going to roll right up it's not stuck to it so I have to be real careful at, at this point not to uh, have it come up on me while I'm working so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to continue and I'm gonna just take this away for a second this is a piece of tissue paper 
I'm just going to tear a piece of it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on this with a sharpie. I'm just going to make some lines. came through. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back. And since this is, I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, since this is so thin, I do not have to put anything on the back of it because it's real thin. I just wanted to show you how you can collage with something like this. And if you have a white background, that tissue paper isn't going to show at all. you can see. Can't even see where it begins or, or ends. Now I'm just pushing it down to make sure that I don't have any. And of course my surface is very lumpy bumpy. It always would work better if you did this on a smooth surface. Can't even get it out. tissue paper is even torn, tore right there. Okay, now that's actually how you do collage. It's real easy. Just remember, if you're using something that's real thick though, you want to make sure that it's covered on both underneath it and then you cover it with uh, cold wax as well. Like this one, this one took a lot of cold wax to get that to stick. So that's what this looks like. Now what I'm going to do, I see this is where I'm going to have trouble because as I roll this, this is going to come up on me. Let's let's try it. If it starts to roll, we'll wait until tomorrow. Just want to push it back a little bit.
maybe go into it with a little bit of black. into these holes. Don't want it to be perfect looking. else I want to do with this right now. Now I'm going to let this dry. Don't know what's going to happen. I wonder if I could... I'm going to try one more thing. Hold on. This is a rubber stamp. And I'm going to put some black paint on it. roller I'm going to stamp it And a little bit more over here. What the heck, let's do it here as well. Okay. Did it a little bit. Maybe I need a little bit more on here. like that. You can just about see my circles over and through here. I would like to get that whole way down. Let's see if I can do it. 
Oh, yeah. That's all I can do for today, and we will continue this again, maybe tomorrow. So I just wanted to show it to you. This is what it looks like right now. And of course, uh, tomorrow I'll put paint over top of it, and we'll see if we can come up with some kind of a design. But here you can see my lines that I drew showing through the stamps. And this, of course, was collage. This is collage down here. You can barely see it, but it's showing through. Okay, I lied. I think so, I'm going to put one stamp right down and through here. And this will probably mostly get covered up. But I want you to see the essence of it down and through here. Now this will probably, most of this is going to get covered up. But I wanted you to see that there is some down here. Maybe we'll do some right here as well. Okay, now I like that better. You can see what that looks like, and we'll we'll work on this tomorrow. I want I wanted also to show you how to clean your stamps when when they have cold wax on them. If I just lay it on a paper towel, then I have a spray bottle, and there's it's Gamasol, Gamblin's Gamasol, in it, and I spray it. And that, uh, this uh, Gamasol is odorless mineral spirits that uh, Gamblin makes. So I'm just going to wa wipe this really good, get all the paint out of it, out of all the nooks and crannies. So that is how you clean your stamps and your stencils. If you stencil into a piece, you would also spray it with the uh, mineral spirits, which I, I use the Gamasol uh, odorless mineral spill spirits. I really like it. So there you go. Nice and clean, ready for me for the way, next that, time. That is how I also okay, clean my uh, utensils with the Gamasol. My brayers, spray it with Gamasol, palette knives, and then I just wipe it with a paper towel. It's not necessary. I don't usually clean my brayers when I'm working. What I do is I just wipe off the excess paint and then at the end of the day I will clean them up. Okie doke. Once again, see ya.